Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce you to Dynamic Chain, our new 3D physics component in Effect House. But don't be scared, this isn't going to be anything like the class you took in high school. It's much more simple than that and there are no equations involved. So anyway, let's get into it. So here you'll see I've already created four basic spheres right here in my hierarchy. I've also linked them together in a chain. Next, I'm simply going to add components, 3D physics, and then dynamic chain. Now we've applied our chain physics to our object and we can move it around like this. We can change different presets too, making this more springy or more loose depending on what we're feeling for the object, which is actually pretty dope. It's really easy to add dynamics uh, to the dynamic chain. Now I want to show you guys how to add some hair. Now before I place stylus, I'm going to go ahead and add a head tracker to my scene. To do that, I'll go AR tracker, head tracker, like that. Now I can see the head tracker in my scene. So I've already got some hair imported. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag that onto my head tracker right here. I'm gonna change this to a preview of the person turning their head so that we can sort of see the physics happen better. Right now, this doesn't look very much like hair, but if I go to the root node of the hair here, joint hair root, and I press add component, once again, there's the 3D physics dynamic chain. Okay, now this looks crazy. Yeah, this looks way too crazy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a preset and make it rigid. Okay, that's definitely way less crazy. But I want the tips of the hair to sway a little bit more. Now I'm going to open this hierarchy on the left-hand side, and I'm going to add another dynamic chain to the link. I'll press dynamic chain here. So now you can see the tops of the hair are much more wiggly than the connecting ones. So you can play around with this, make it more damped or elastic or even stiff if you like that look. I know I don't. And you can add multiple different dynamic chains on one chain. Now we've got a full head of beautiful hair, which is pretty cool for me because I can't even do my own hair in real life. <laughs> Okay, so that's it guys. This is basic introduction to the dynamic chain. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and learn from it and I'll see you in the next video. For more information about dynamic chain, be sure to check out our documentation at effecthouse.tiktok.com.